Hi, Joy. Nice to have you here Hello, Anna. in Hamburg. Thank you for inviting me. Uh, well, more than welcome. We talked about um, Asap Island. What is it about Asap Island? What means that to you? Uh, my question was, how do you came to this project? What was your was was your moment that you started such such a multi diverse uh, project? Every moment starts small, mm. so it uh, grew multi diverse. It uh, grew bigger and bigger, and uh, while working on projects in public space, uh, they develop their own momentum. Mm -hmm. And um, so I can't say that uh, I started a huge project, but uh, I did not resist to let it grow. <laughs> so um, it was, um, I think, uh, there, are, there are two different uh, energies that came together. One was uh, that um, I'm an artist, a uh, street artist, graffiti artist, and I'm working in public space because I want to... Um, the communication with society. You see the society and as an artist you are free to make your own thoughts about it. You, you think uh, maybe a bit different also and uh, this is what people expect from art to have a different um, point of view also. And uh, if you work in public space you get uh, feedback all the time. And this is very um, valuable for artists to get feedback, mm -hmm. not after a long period of working in an exhibition, but on a daily basis. How, how are the, these feedback loops are working? Actually, uh, if you work on street art, um, you don't grow your community. You get feedback on the street, but they, the, the people don't know you. They don't know that you are the artist. Mm -hmm. This is part of the game. So you're working. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and uh, so this is a different, uh, different level. Um, and since uh, many years, I, I don't work uh, illegally. So street art uh, provides many techniques, many possibilities to work legally. Mm -hmm. uh, on the, in the street with uh, creative uh, methods to express um, a different uh, point of view upon society, and um, I'm um, I'm now um, very involved in with uh, Transition Town, the initiative uh, that came up with this um, uh, peak oil scenario and mm -hmm. uh, urban gardening and all these things. Uh, I like it very much because it uh, creates community, it creates uh, um, relationships between the people um, on a very easy level. Why it's important for you that you see a community or a support community to create relationships? My relationships are uh, a major part of uh, life quality. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I'm talking a lot about uh, social capital. I'm not rich. I don't earn much money. And uh, if you do street art, you give away your art to the people, to society, without expecting any money for it. So I can't be rich, actually. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but uh, it's okay, because I've got a different uh, mindset about uh, capital, mm. about social capital and about uh, the quality of life. And for me, um, social relations uh, with my neighbors, with friends, with uh, like-minded people all over the world mm -hmm. is much more important than uh, lots of money. The other things are more important for me. Mm -hmm. So uh, not, not only in, my, in, in the leisure time, but also uh, working, you need feedback from, from people you trust. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't trust anyone or if, if you don't trust a person, then you won't ex uh, accept their uh, feedback on your work. Mm -hmm. So the value of people is uh, directly um, linked 
with, uh, with the trust. Yeah. How do you came from art to meaningful art, to maker spaces and all these multi-diverse things you are doing now? If I uh, look at Asab Island, it's very multi-diverse. It's a, it's a room of possibilities, actually, where people can tune in and have experience what they can do with this room of uh, opportunities also. And how do you came to that? I'm a creator, I'm mm -hmm. a designer also, I'm a creator, I, I want to shape my environment uh, ever since. Started in the sandbox, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, give me a piece of paper, I will create something. And uh, so it's part of my mm -hmm. uh, personality. Mm -hmm. And um, I also love to think big. <laughs> <laughs> so if I create, I would prefer to create big things mm -hmm. or to shape society. And uh, there is a lot that can be better. And uh, I see some parts that I can add my ideas, maybe also my um, methods, because art is a very powerful method also for um, processes in public space. I never see, saw that as a method. It's interesting to look. Like well, this. Yeah, maybe it's uh, because you have a different uh, perception of what art is. Yes, could be. I think art is uh, everywhere. Mm -hmm. um, every, every, everybody has artistic potential. Everybody is creative. Doesn't matter if you love to cook or if you look what what to wear or uh, how to decorate your room or mm -hmm. whatever. So you're a creative, mm. you're an artist, and uh, art sets you free. So if you um, train your artistic skills, then you also train your personality to have an authentic uh, position in society. And this is very important, because if not, then you are just a consumer. And uh, mm. Art is, uh, is a possibility for you to, to directly uh, interact with society. So it's not uh, a reflection for the inner self, but uh, art is uh, expressive. So you get in communication with others and uh, this, is, uh, this is the interface for communication. So this is a training uh, place also, uh, mm. uh, sandbox still. <laughs> yeah, sandbox still. Right. And, uh, so this is a, a very powerful tool and uh, most people go only once a year into a museum and look at the, at the pictures or whatever, sculptures and mm. say, oh, I don't understand it. And uh, so they, they, they have no, they think they have no relationship to art anymore. But uh, that's not true, because art is far more than just uh, hanging a, a picture on the wall. Mm. Art is much more powerful. I mean, um, social sculpture from uh, the concept of uh, Joseph Beuys, mm -hmm. I think um, he, he's a, he was a great spirit and um, he understood the, the real potential of art and the importance of being an artist, everybody. So we need artists as teachers. They need to be artists, yeah. or uh, lawyers need to be artists. Oh, that's maybe, cool. <laughs> <laughs> maybe even policemen <laughs> yeah. need to be artists oh, cool. a bit. That's Cooks, good. of course, they are. And uh, so everybody needs to train his own artist. Mm -hmm. Cool. So how do you came to this maker space like... like should I say Makerspace? I don't know. This Aesop Island project. The original idea was we had the, the World Fair in Hanover in my little hometown. And um, that was in the year 2000. It's transforming waste into a platform of solutions. That was my original idea 
of uh, building a floating trash raft, whatever. Mm -hmm. And it turned out to be very beautiful. It mm -hmm. was a huge, it were actually two domes, huge domes on a platform, a floating wobbly platform of wow. 70 square meters. Yeah, I saw with, the pictures. With two big domes on top. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, illuminated at night and uh, very creative space. Also, we had uh, jam sessions and board and uh, literature, uh, readings and uh, discussions. We invited uh, the use of all the participating nations of this World Fair. And so they were coming all to our funky spot in the <laughs> evenings to, to chill out that. and uh, discuss. And uh, we had also uh, keynote speakers from different uh, um, NGOs and organizations worldwide. We also had uh, the founder of the Alternate Nobel Prize aboard, oh, cool. uh, holding a speech uh, talk with with others and uh, very interesting people that found our little. Uh, so everybody uh, was infected. Yeah, kind of, and that was a start for our network. Which we are still uh, developing. Developing, yeah. Mm. It was a, a huge success, not not directly in the media because uh, the media was focusing on the real world fair activities, and mm. we were a bit aside. We were not financed by anybody. We just had the permission to do this. Mm. It was difficult enough. Uh, to say I want to float some garbage. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. Oh so my god. This is part of the art uh, <laughs> to get the permission. But uh, we got it and uh, we made a beautiful thing out of it and uh, created uh, our network. And mm -hmm. I um, immediately mm, realized that uh, such projects, uh, which uh, with, with the symbolic value, and uh, with also with, uh, with the techniques we developed to build it, it was all flexible and uh, with all kind of different materials. Um, I realized uh, that this could be much more powerful if uh, implemented in uh, real world um, cases. Mm -hmm. So I had some floating sculptures and uh, then floating gardens and uh, with each of these projects, I developed a little solution for the long-term vision, mm -hmm. the sustainable floating habitat. After a while, it was not completed, it's never completed. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, the project is called ASAP Island, as soon as possible island. Mm -hmm. And I hope it will never be realized because uh, there is a magic also in, in the developing process. Mm -hmm. So. If you are ready with something, then it's over. Mm -hmm. So ASAP Island is a project in process, which is open for any addition of other people. And uh, this is how ASAP Island also grew over the years with, with other uh, makers, artists, mm -hmm. engineers, architects uh, that worked on a specific part of this journey. I like the term um... A room of possibilities or space of possibilities. So what what could I do? Why should I go there to build a platform or to, to figure out how to build this island? There are endless uh, arguments. <laughs> we always had uh, the, the most different participants mm -hmm. and we also always focus on participation. And uh, this is where the art is. Yes, not, not only freaks, they're really a diverse groups of uh, participants yeah. from really. universities, from right. engineers. On different levels. Yeah, okay. Uh, the, the most easy level is uh, messages in the bottle. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, our rafts mostly float on empty plastic bottles. Mm -hmm. Why um, not put a message in each of these plastic bottles? Mm. to make it a message in the bottle. Mm -hmm. So we collected messages in the bottle from everyone. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is an opportunity to share a dream, to express a dream. Mm -hmm. when, when did you express a dream last time? Mm. There are not that many, many uh, opportunities. Yeah, not like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Also in a community, to share your dream in a community. That's... Yeah. 
I mean, we started uh, before Facebook and all these community platforms. So these messages on the bottle are completely um, analog. They are written on a paper, mm -hmm. put in a plastic bottle, uh, manufactured into this raft, floating, mm -hmm. still floating. It's uh, beautiful. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. uh, and uh, this is not uh, only the material uh, we are working with, but also the energy. Mm -hmm. And this is uh, the magic of SF Island mm -hmm. from the beginning on, that, uh, that we work with dreams and uh, we work to realize them. It's not, sometimes it's not possible, um, but in every dream there is a seed of change. And uh, this is uh, the energy we, we try to inspire and um, we work hard to realize them all. Mm. <laughs> so this is the most easy way to participate, to just mm -hmm. think about your dreams and try to realize them yourself. We can help you, you can help us, and uh, together we make a difference. Mm -hmm. There are many more levels where you can participate, of course. I mean, this is a big project. We need uh, people that spread the word in Facebook, in, in different uh, communities or channels. So if you see any of our events, you can join, of course. And we love to have very diverse participants in our workshops. Mm. Because the more diverse they are, the more diverse uh, the solutions are we co-create. And why floating? There we come <laughs> to a different part of the story. If you really want to change something in the world, <laughs> then you get uh, opposition. The land masses are, uh, are given away. They are occupied by someone. Mm -hmm. Some countries, administration, private properties. Mm -hmm. uh, also, they are occupied by a common mindset or by uh, rules. And uh, if you want to create something really new, you need to go to a new place. But there are no more new places where you could live. So we thought about uh, building our own new land on the water. Because uh, on the water... <laughs> <laughs> That's it's... the coolness of an artist, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's... it's... <laughs> Why not? No, yeah, no, Why not? Okay. Even if, if you start small, if you have a big dream, uh, then you can be sure this will attract people. And yeah. uh, I mean, they won't all agree with you, but uh, they think about it. And, mm, they start uh, singing. It's already real if the people rely to it. So this is an artistic uh, method to create art in the audience mind. Uh, even if you don't realize it, it would be it is art already. The mind of the audience is the place where art exists. It's the only place where art can exist. Mm -hmm. If you put something on the wall, it's just something on the wall. Mm -hmm. But if people look at it, then there in their um, in their mind, uh, the art. Develops. We can inspire new thoughts if we can um, provoke action. Then this is an artistic process uh, which is very fruitful for society. This is also what art is for. Mm -hmm. It's uh, so we we serve the society with an alternate point of view. Mm -hmm. Cool. And when is the next big event?